you've traced the person's face onto here. Now what you're going to do next is you're going to use a marker to go ahead and tr like trace this some more. Use a permanent marker. I don't care if it's a Sharpie, I don't care what, but it has to be a permanent marker because we're eventually going to use watercolors on this and uh, watercolors do not work well with water-based markers, so they need to be a permanent marker. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go ahead and just trace this. So now I'm done. I've got this. It's finished. Uh, now we're going to move on to doing the actual hair, which uh, we're going to need a pencil to do. We're not going to do that marker yet. Since we've gotten the person's face down here, now what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing the crazy hair. Now it's I'm looking for design elements here. Uh, you've seen that in an earlier uh, video. We're talking about design. Uh, I want to see different shapes. I want you to basically divide it up into minimum of three sections, like section one, section two, section three. And I'm looking for more organic shapes. We're going to fill them in with more uh, geometric shapes and patterns, whereas in the outside is not going to look quite like that. So what you're going to need is a pencil, and I'm going to start drawing in just some shapes. So now what I've got here is I've got three organic shapes. Now if you look, you've got one section, two sections, three sections. This is now where we switch back to our markers. You're going to use your marker, and you're going to make sure you get nice, thick black lines for this. Now what I want you to look what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with the marker and I'm just going to just thicken up a little bit of the lines, not a lot. So now I'm done, I'm done with this part. Um, I've got three sections, one, two, three. I've got my, uh, it's done in marker, I've got my line variation meaning that uh, it's, it's thicker and thinner in pieces. I've got the person down here. Um, and now I'm ready to go ahead to the next step, which is going to be putting in the patterns, the crepe pots.